Hi everyone, here I am again at Bonsai Centrum in Heidelberg. As many of you already know, I come here a couple of times during the year. And at this time, I have the opportunity to work this amazing tattoo with Milan. Now, Milan will introduce you the story of the tattoos. Hi Milan, how are you? Oh, I'm fine. You're good? No. What do you have here? What is this thing? <clears throat> Tell us uh, the story about uh, I have here a Taxus Cuspirata, which was important, like imported. Important. <laughs> important it is, but uh, it was imported like uh, four years ago from Japan. Yes. Uh, uh, probably many years ago was in the Kimura's garden, mm -hmm. uh, who styled the tree. Yeah. And, uh, the first style? Uh, yeah, the first styling, I think, make... Uh, Kimura mm -hmm. and uh, since the tree arrived here in Germany mm -hmm. to the Bonsai Centrum Heidelberg or to the Bonsai Museum Heidelberg, uh, the first work on it uh, make uh, Naoki Maioka mm -hmm. who restyled the tree a little bit and uh, from this time I work on this tree and try try to try to improve the the structure and the foliage and and make it even even better mm -hmm. and prepare it somehow for a exhibition in the future. Yeah, it would be amazing. Put your history. I it's hope. I hope. We're gonna show you inside and everywhere and. What is the word today? I will help you. I'm gonna help you, and what we, what we can do today. Yeah. Today, yeah, we have to prune it back. Uh, we have to check all the branches. Maybe put some wire, mm -hmm. which will be necessary. We need to cut it back a little bit more because I, uh, since last year, I keep it grow more. Put a lot of fertilizer and try to rebalance the, the foliage because after the first styling and um, last three years was a little bit unbalanced that in the apex grow a little bit more and the lower branches get weaker but uh, step by step I, I balance the tree that everywhere you can see that they are not really long shoots everywhere it grows nearly the same which was my goal and um, yeah, now. Yeah, I, re I remember. Uh, I think it was the first time mm -hmm. when I was here. Uh, the tree is totally different. Uh -huh. It was more yellow, less uh -huh. foliage. Mm -hmm. And now I think it's, uh, it's getting more full and more possibilities mm -hmm. for change and mm -hmm. improve it. Yeah. Uh, then at least we will do today the, the maintenance, yeah. which is necessary. And then we will see how much we can do more for the. For, for the future improvement yeah. and developing. Okay, we finished this amazing tattoos, this amazing tree uh, with Milan and I'm going to explain you a, a little the work today. Uh, one of the goals today is uh, open more this area. We cut back some branches in the front because uh, we need for the next spring 
uh, more light in all these areas because they are more weaker than in the top and in the right part and we did very soft uh, pruning, very soft uh, cleaning foliage because we need to keep more and more and more energy on the tree and but it's very very important for the future and and then uh, Milan maybe can explain what is the goal for the future uh, what do you think what is the next step in this tree yeah i think uh, in my opinion the next step will be to continue on the on the maintenance mm -hmm. like we did uh, today and, mm -hmm. and yesterday pruning cleaning and for sure make stronger this part because mm -hmm. this is weak because it was more in the shadow mm -hmm. because here as Rafa said before we cut some long branches to back and we reduce a lot of foliage mm -hmm. in these parts to put mm -hmm. to, to, to keep focus of the light more on this branch that it grows much more and also we have to keep some um, some I don't like to say bad branches, but still some uh, branches which has to go in the future. But step by step, we can we can't do and if everything in the in the one moment because mm. we don't want to make the tree weak. Yeah, we need to sure. keep always respect for the these amazing trees and every single tree. But and respect especially for the for the first creator who, yeah. who did the, the did job. This. Yeah, of course. But I think in the, in the same way we need to do uh, steps and. I still have some long branches and I think one also the goal is more inside the trunk. Yeah? Maybe yeah. you tell, you tell late, uh, after, uh, maybe change a little dangle because I still feel the, the ape is, is a little in Yeah, the, the tree is falling, falling to the yeah. back, but... Uh, very small change. It's, it's like two centimeters, yeah. two centimeters. Like this the, and a little point. like this maybe and change a little here. But uh, still, maybe also in the future, today also we put back and inside this right part because before it was very straight, but uh, we need to move it like, like more inside, more compact tree and more powerful trunk uh, vision. Uh, but probably in the future we talk it about maybe cut everyone, this big tree, this big brand, sorry, because it's very straight and long. And also we need something more inside because if not you feel like it's very very open and we we want to make more powerful more more close to the trunk like a hug the trunk and make bigger the trunk and make more powerful the moment to the to the left yeah, i think yeah i yeah. think also this is this is the great idea or or part of the development because this branch is quite long and mm -hmm. and complete straight and we can't bend it or, or create something with this branch, then in my opinion, like step by step in four or five years to grow up a little bit more the branches from here, this area, mm -hmm. and step by step cut this branch and make a, probably create a gin mm -hmm. that we have a little bit more dead wood and some new dead wood and, mm -hmm. and fill up this part with the branches which are here and maybe here a little bit. And it will be much easier for the long future to keep the tree compact. Yeah, and also branch. here you can feel like it's more empty than in these areas, but in the future when we have more foliage, we, you can feel, you will feel a lot of different buds and uh, amazing full foliage and amazing tree. Yeah, I think this part so, will be very, very fast full because there are a lot of inner buds and inside. a lot of uh, fine branches inside which probably will be not visible on the video and on the pictures, but it's full with the mm -hmm. back buds and I can imagine next year after the season will be nearly full, this part. Right. Okay, uh, thank you very much Milan, uh, because I have the opportunity to work uh, with you this amazing tree. Thank yeah, you. Thank you too, because for me it's always a pleasure to work with you and, thank you and help you or you help me. Nice. Doesn't matter. Best so connection be. in Europe, I think. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> okay, thank you. Bye, guys. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> Okay. Good. Good. I think that.